Good morning, I'm Sean, and this is your morning huddle. My phone is glitching, I apologize. It's probably gonna do it again. So I apologize in advance. So here is my question. What is the key to successful growth of your business? Well, obviously there are many things, but if you think about, good morning, Brittany. Hope you're doing okay this morning. So what is the key to growth? Oh, my phone is glitching. Obviously, there are, there are many things, but the way I look at it is it boils down to two distinctive things. Number one, what are the strategic steps that you're going to implement to be able to grow? Grow your team, grow your business, support your vision, your patience, your team, your profitability. But that's only a very small piece of it. If you think about it, nearly 100% of your growth revolves around you and your team's ability to get past your own comfort zone. You and your team's ability to get past the mindset that's been holding you back. And I don't know if you're listening to this and you're thinking, man, that sounds like a bunch of, I don't know what you're thinking. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Janet. Thanks for joining me. We're talking about what's the key to successful growth. And I can tell you, after working with Dennis and dental teams from Vancouver, British Columbia, to Barbados, all over Nassau and the Bahamas, to the Great Lakes, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dentists and dental teams over the last 21 years, I can tell you, the number one thing that is the key to the successful growth of your business is a mindset and if you say that you want to grow your business no matter what role you play on the team if you want to really go after results you got to be willing to challenge what's going on in you know in your mindset as the captain of the ship in your mindset as a team player you got to be willing to challenge your own comfort zone you got to be willing to challenge beliefs that are holding you back and if you look at any successful organization, the leader on that team views his or her role foremost as challenging mindset. And that's what has the people on the team stretch out and become the very best that they can be. I mean, you and I do what we do based on the way it is that we're thinking. And if you're not willing to challenge your comfort zone, if you're not willing to challenge the people in your team's comfort zone, there's no way you're ever going to be successful. Or if you're not attached to the biggest reason why you want to grow your business, then when it becomes uncomfortable in that mindset, or when it becomes uncomfortable for somebody on your team in their mindset, you're back to square one, you're back to where you started. You might as well not even embark on this journey of growth unless you're willing to challenge your own mindset, unless you're willing to challenge the people around you and their mindset. I mean, that is the essence of the growth. And listen, if you're thinking, hey, I'm going to grow this thing by just doing a few things differently, it's not going to happen. I mean, you may grow, but you're not going to grow in a consistent, repeatable, long-term fashion. It's just not going to happen. Uh, doing things differently is the easy part. You know, um, I think the thing that I've learned over the years is people tend to put a lot of focus on things like motivation. People tend to put a lot of focus on to-do lists. All those things are bunk, man. The thing that's going to get you growth is you and I attaching to that big reason why and being willing to challenge comfort zones. A hundred percent, the people around you, comfort zones, beliefs, mindset. That is the essence of the growth, period, across the board. And if you're not ready for that again, then you're not ready to grow your business. You, you, are, you are looking to have things happen to you rather than being willing to facilitate the change. That is just a hundred percent of it. Um, you know, I've got a got a situation right now with a great group, 
really good office and there's just zero leadership. There's no attachment. There's no willingness to challenge that mindset. So they grew out of the chute. Big, huge growth, 68, 70% growth. But that initial growth was simply because they were doing some things differently. And the leadership is not willing to challenge their own mindset. They're not willing to challenge the people on their team's mindset. And so the growth is not going to last. It's not going to last. And it's proven out to be just that. If you're committed to growth and you're not looking for the short-term you know, burst, but you're actually looking for the support of happier clients, better results, making more money, and being able to enjoy the ride over the long haul, you got to be willing to challenge your own comfort, your own beliefs, your own mindset. That's where 100% of it lives. And if you look at any great sports team, any great business team on earth, again, 100% of their focus is right there on the mindset. And if you're not willing to do that, you're not going to grow. You know, I heard Tony Robbins say one time, the best study of life is not how you think it ought to be. It's how it actually is. And that is actually how it is. So what would I tell you? Here's what i tell you. If you're not willing to challenge mindsets, yours and the people around you, forget about it. Don't go through the motions of attempting that you're willing to grow your business because you're not. If you're going to fall short of challenging your mindset, it's just not going to happen. Good morning, Vito Gomez. Vito talks all the time about head trash, and that's exactly what it is that we're talking about. Right, Vito? I mean, if I say I want to grow my business, but I'm not willing to challenge my own head trash, I'm not going to grow. There's just no way on earth. So, I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you think I'm out to lunch? You and I tend to base what we see in the future as our own references in the past. And I can tell you, after 21 years of working with dentists and dental teams, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dentists and dental teams all over North America and the Bahamas, I can tell you, being willing to challenge that mindset is what I've experienced 100% of the time. And the thing I would have you take away is this. If you're not willing to do that, then you're not willing to grow your business. And that's okay. Not everybody is ready to grow. But don't give it lip service and don't you know, go through the motions and say that you're ready to go if really what you're looking for is somebody to do it for you or if you're looking to just go through the motions and create a different set of to-do lists. So, I'd love to know what you think. Britt, Pam, Jana, Vito, give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Do they even have a thumbs down? I don't know. Love to know what your thoughts are. I'm Sean, and this is why I come to you every week. It's about you having happier clients, better results, making more money, and enjoy the ride. And that's what it is I want for you, period if that's what you want for yourself. But you know what? The people around you cannot want it worse than you want it for yourself. I'm Sean. Thanks for joining me on this cold Tuesday morning. Hope you have an awesome day. 